have now. But like I said, if you see all of that, see all of that in your carpet, all that water is coming from your sunroof drain. Sunroof this drain hose. This is a Country Boy Mars production. Good. What's up, y'all? How y'all doing today? Today, I got the 2014 Nissan Sentra SR. I'm working on my fiance's SR today. Um, so, the problem, the issue was that we're getting a lot of water inside on the floor panel here. See that? Caked up water. All right, so what I found out is that the drain hole from your sunroof right here going behind the airbag i don't know if you can see it or not you see it right there it still need to be cleaned out so basically what's been going on let me see if i can get over here oh oh going on is you got these little drain holes right up in here which you see the soap there um i've been cleaning it out so what i did i got something small enough <coughs> to run through here on each side you see the little drain hole right there you see it right there where the water running out at that's where the drain holes in the sunroof so if you if you ever experiencing anything like this, like water getting in your floorboard or anything like that, check your sunroof drain. Check your sunroof drain because man, when I say that, this has been the reason why all this water been inside and everything else. It's crazy, man. I'm gonna show you where they're located on the 2014 Century. Most Nissans probably like this, especially the cars. Probably like this. So your passenger side gonna be located right there. Well, oh, that's just great. And uh, this is what I use to go through. Hold on. This is what I use to go through the um the drain to kind of unplug it and stuff like that this old wire that was laying around the house not that long i mean it could be longer whatever you got around the house that's sturdy round and long enough to go through without puncturing anything i suggest you to use that but like i said to access the passenger side one you got it'll be located just like this you got your two clip. It goes on here. The clip be there. And the clip will be right here. Pop those. You get it out. Next thing you know, you can access your passenger side drain. So what I did, I just got the water hose, sprayed it out. Kind of like this. Give me a second. So what I did, I just got the water hose. A little stream of water. Take it to the back right here. And get this camera right. Took the water hose. Sprayed it out. Put a little bit more pressure as I went. A little bit more pressure there. Rinsing it out. I did the same thing for the driver's side. Which is located... The driver's side is located right up behind here. You pop this little flange out right here. Pull that to the side. And you can see the driver's side one right back there. As you can see, the camera won't, won't get focused for you, but as you can see, it right back there. Same issue, same thing. Next step, what I did is hopefully I can get this with the camera. 
I got one up top. Let me show you what the drain holes at again. The drain holes are right behind here. It's a little hole in this corner. Right there. There was a drain hole. So same issue, same thing for that side. Drain holes in the corner. So what I did, once I pushed the rod thing through, let me show you how I did the rod before we get too far. I mean not the rod but the wire. Before we get too far, I got the wire. Let me come around, get inside. <laughs> zoom out as you can see the little drain hole so what we got here is this how I fed this wire through this simple little wire here through the drain hole which is located right there so get your wire that's flexible enough feed it right through there just like that and just keep feeding it through to unclog anything that was stopped up like right here and you keep going on and on from that part pull it out do the same with the other side over here which is located whoa a little tight space trying to record Same side. As you can see me putting it in here. It's going in right there. And you just feed it on through. Same way. Feeding it on through the same way. Now after feeding it through, the next thing you want to do, like I said, you want to get the water. And you want to test it out. Like after spraying it out, cleaning it out pushing the um, wire through, everything you can think of. Like now you want to test it out. So you want to put your water here and you want to just let it run. Now, go to the front. That's where it's supposed to come out of it. And that's where it's supposed to be running through right there. As you can see. No more leaking on the floor. None of that. None of that. So, that's how you clean it out, y'all. That side is definitely draining. This side is over here. It's draining now. So, hopefully, we don't get any more water inside this car. Because, man, I got to clean this whole car. Like, do everything. It's pretty much been sitting up. Haven't had time to actually come out here and do it. But like I said, thank y'all for watching. Appreciate y'all for the support on the channel. Um, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. And yeah. So we still got a little water left up here. Trying to get all this water out. Away from this. That's been stuck in here. So y'all take care. Finish working on this project. This is a Country Boy Mars production.